Aquinas here with another Black Shirt Beer Review Quickie. I've got Holly with me, the first lady of Black Shirt Beer Review. Holly, say hi to the world. Hello! You'll all probably remember Holly from the Rhinesty Review that we did at uh, Black Rocks, but she didn't get a lot of camera time, so we're going to give her a little bit more this time. <laughs> um, Holly and I are going to be taking a look at the Sagatuck Pathfinder Pale Ale. Which uh, looks pretty good. I mean, yeah. uh, you can't really. The well, name's good me. anyway. Yeah, it was, try, <laughs> you try saying soccer took five times fast. But uh, this is a quickie, so let's get right to it, right? Sure. Let's give it a good pour. Good head retention right away. I'll tell you that much. I pour mine a little faster and steeper, so I like seeing that head. Yeah, I'm used to pouring off draft, so... Let's see. Smell? Oh, that's good. Mmm. Actually, it's got a really nice, like, lemony... Like, like lemony, yeah. Citrusy. Right. Really, really mild smell. It's 30 IBUs, so, you know, it's a pale ale. It's a... It's hanging yeah. out about right where I would expect it to be. Well, let's get down to it. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Ooh, that's nice. That's really it's re nice. It's really easy to drink. It's only 4.9% alcohol, and you know what, actually, I have to give uh, Sagatuk some props right there, because they're one of the few uh, breweries that I've actually seen list the uh, ABV and IBU right on the bottle, so yeah. good for you guys. You know, thanks. Oh. You, you get a little bit of hops right up in front of it, but... But uh, it's definitely something that someone who doesn't really drink pails or care for them that much, it would be definitely something easy for them to drink. Yeah, this is definitely sessionable. I mean, I could uh, have quite a few of these. Again, you know, and maybe it's just the season. I'm leaning more towards these pale ales and good beers for summer, but, you know, this is, well, this is really good. I, I really like the malt profile. It's, you know, it's not too malty. It's got a nice dryness to it. And, you know, the mouthfeel is just all the way around. It's just really it's pleasant. pleasant. Yeah, yeah pleasant. Very pleasant. I am pleasant. Damn it. Yeah, it's, it's not amazing. This isn't going to be something that no, just no. knocks your socks off. But it's good. You know, um... I would definitely recommend it for a first try at a pail. Yeah, definitely. This is... Very if, if you're, like, you know, again, you know, one of the... My hated uh, Budweiser drinkers or whatnot, and you want to upgrade... Give this a shot, especially if you can find it. It's out of Douglas, Michigan, which is in the Lower Peninsula. So I don't know how far their distribution is. You can probably check it out on their website. I will link it, you know, down here. But um, I found this up in Marquette, Michigan, at a pretty reasonable price. So I would recommend checking this out. Yeah, um, definitely. On the beer scale, I'm gonna give this a solid three and a half. It's really good. It's not mind-blowing, though. It's not yeah. going to be something that I'm going to buy every single time. But I'll buy this again, definitely, yeah. you know, especially with the uh, hot weather on the horizon. I, I'm rolling with a three on it. It's, it's real. I mean, like you said, it's really easy to drink, but it's definitely a summery beer. But if you're a pale or an IPA drinker, it's definitely going to be really mild. Yeah, this, uh, if you're a big craft beer drinker like myself, uh, Holly is yep. not so much of a craft beer drinker. She, I still catch her drinking a Miller Lite or a Labatt Lite from time to time. <laughs> Blasphemy! But, you know, we'll forgive her. Uh, uh, Better than Blatt's. Mm, well, that's a different episode. Well, that's just another quickie. So until next time, I'm the Rhinus. I'm Holly. And happy drinking. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>